It's so great to um, <clears throat> to realise that we are totally complete and wonderful, and the evidence of that is what we experience as human beings. Um, now, most of us have, have learned to describe what we experience as human beings as positive, negative and neutral. And the game of being a human being is to cultivate what we like and to get rid of what we don't like. So the, the intimate relating question is great because you cultivate what you like, i.e. the initial moments of a, an intimate relationship, the first few weeks. It soon transforms into what you don't like and then you're off looking for another partner. And so we have all of these little mini games that we play, or not maybe, maybe not even mini games, like it might be the most important thing that you think of all of the time. But the point is, conventionally, we look for well-being by trying to have more of what we consider to be positive and less or none of what we consider to be negative. So that's the game. And the problem is, is that everyone on the planet has a different idea of what's positive and what's negative. So we're all running around just basically bumping into each other and, uh, you know, <laughs> getting into quite a mess, really. You, you see what happens when large groups of people who don't like what another gr large group of people is doing, what the results are. It's horrible. But you see, in this training, what we have the opportunity to actually do as an experience is to just examine that like we we heard with the talk from Candice is like question what what you've been told and uh, when I came to this training um, and I did the, there's a training we do called the 12 empowerments where you actually get to sit down and list everything you believe in in a very impartial way and just look at it and say well is this actually helpful, is it actually beneficial, or is it actually, okay, I have to make sure my, the videos actually get posted so I'll be polite, is, is it actually, um, my vocabulary of politeness is, is, is actually empty, I've got a huge store of, of, of uh, swear words and, and things like that, but <laughs> it's like a, you know, the, the, the dust things. There's nothing there. It's it's um, it doesn't work. There you go. It doesn't work. So so uh, the, 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 an example from my life would be intimate relationships where I really really want an intimate relationship. I get into an intimate relationship. It's the most amazing thing ever. But soon it, it's not so amazing and then it becomes something that I, is more of a burden than, than, uh, than, than helpful. But you see, that particular example, on a conventional level, it all relates back to me. I don't feel happy. I don't feel happy because this is, person isn't the right partner. I don't feel happy because the sex is, n is nowhere near as good as it was in the beginning, all of these things. Me, 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 me. And so when we, when we, when we uh, get the opportunity to look at all of the assumptions we've made, we start to see that what we've been taught and really conditioned to believe is, that, is, is a load of rubbish. Oh, I'm just being so well behaved. Well done. Because... It, 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 it usually becomes clear to people as they get older, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, that the conventional struggle to only experience positive things is, is, is fruitless. And, and even if we are able to hold in place a set of experiences that are mainly positive, it, it gets really boring. It's just boring. And uh, you see numerous accounts of people who are extremely successful, who, who are in and out of rehab, taking heroin, taking all these drugs, 
or even killing themselves. They can get whatever they want. They're fabulously wealthy, successful. And it's, it's, it's so clear that that struggle to, to obtain conventional stuff does not lead anywhere. And you could even really apply this to just a simple practical everyday life. If you're looking for well-being by, for example, get, getting an apology from somebody that you think's being disrespectful to you, you might get it, you might not, but I guarantee you that the, that will not end disrespectful behaviour. I can't tell you how different I am from when I came to this training. I, I was so miserable, I, was, I complained all the time and I was really good at complaining as well, really logical and thorough in my complaining. Um, and it was all mainly to bring people down to my level of misery because that would make me feel slightly better the fact that life was just so boring and so empty and so <laughs> like um, you know and I'd done some amazing things and had some really amazing experiences but I could see clearly that these experiences in and of themselves were nothing they were empty they, they had no potential whatsoever to, to, to give me anything and so I came to the that my first balance view open meeting with that attitude of just oh god here we go again lots of smiling people talking about something that they don't know anything about and that nobody can find and so I sat at the back and I was really really miserable and just like oh god I've heard you know I've heard this all before but the funny thing was I hadn't heard this all before because it, almost immediately the first thing that was 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 a uh, instruction that was given to me was the the introduction to open intelligence the experience of what is actually being talked about so here we don't we don't talk and describe open intelligence in in lots of lovely lovely beautiful flowing prose we give you the experience of what we're talking about and to directly experience open intelligence to see that you have that what we call open intelligence, we just stop thinking and just stop describing for a moment. The thoughts will immediately come back, the, the sensations might come back or the sounds. So then just stop thinking again, stop describing. That experience of openness, of expansion, of awareness, we used to call it awareness, it's undeniable. You, you already have what we're describing here. And that's the genius of this practice is because that basis of your humanness, that's, that's the infrastructure of the entire universe. It's built in. It's already there. It's just waiting for us to boot up. You know, like it's, it's, it's all in place, which is why it can't be stopped. It's already there. You can't stop what's already there. And so what we're doing as individuals when we relax and acknowledge open intelligence so that's the, the single practice of this training, is to, rather than focus on all of the thoughts, whenever you remember, just identify what, what, what you recognised when you stop thinking and just relax for a brief moment. So the actual instruction of the training is short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become continuous. And that, that experience... Of, of, of relaxing as open intelligence shows us that this, this, this is the basis of our experience and that, that will just become very, very evident to you. And the power in this, in this simple instruction is that when we identify that, we identify the basis of every other human being. Everyone is the same with this, this, this wonderful operating system. It's, it's built into everyone. It's the fundamental basis doesn't matter what all of the thoughts are doing. 